obsessed on this pendant necklace which is their collaboration with one of my favorite artists slash influencers taylor kitara and then i have these little cherry earrings i'm feeling the red the red vibes and i have this prairie little prairie skirt i'm gonna be prancing through the streets with this on and then i have these black boots on just because i felt like they would look cute with longer boots but it just made me realize that black is like so start i might need to get like tan long boots or like buttery yellow ones those would be really cute this top is from badwood with her sister goodwood from like years ago it's like a little cherub angel it's so funny and then i did my makeup like this color i actually don't think i've ever used it on my eyelids but with the red hair it is giving i'm like really happy with this look and i'm not even going anywhere that's the worst part <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the reality of filming an ad for social media. I'm on my 10 day street of work in order to get a four day weekend. It's really hard to get like your usual scheduled things. I had to run to get my nails. Like I got ready in two seconds. I was already wearing this shirt and then I just put on my new skirt and just ran. I really like them. I got like neutral pink on the pedicure this time. I didn't do the matching color because it's just too much to keep up with. Most of the time I wear close toed shoes anyways and there's just no need. I'm just waiting for the subway. I'm gonna go back home, eat something. This whole week is pretty much at home besides just this little journey. It's just getting ready for the four day weekend. It is day one of my four day weekend. What I'm wearing, my PJs, snacks and naps, baby Yoda shirt. And I just got these old navy like men's boxers that I was planning to use to wear out in, during the summer. But now I'm realizing they're really also comfortable to sleep in. So these are gonna be my go-tos. I have different colors. I'm gonna show you everything that I got. Old Navy, I know it sounds like random, like old navy, like what? <laughs> Like who, you know, like I remember going in there when I was little, when I would go inside the mall, but not in modern day times, but they got some good stuff, guys. They got uh, a jumpsuit, some dresses, things for the Lolo. As you guys know, most of the clothes that I've gotten recently are thrifted or Depop, but every once in a while I drift towards the internet shopping. It happens. It's a Manhattan day. Clearly I have some work to do. Very gloomy out. Like... I don't know if it's gonna be rainy. I'm gonna bring my umbrella, but that's I don't want that to stop me from having a fun weekend. This is the, one of the leotards I got from Old Navy. It has adjustable straps. Uh, I'm late to the leotard game, but I'm here for it. It's probably what I'm gonna wear today because it's like rainy, but it's cloudy. I don't know, but it's not cold enough to wear a sweater. I'm in a weird place. Also, <laughs> yeah, this is where we're at today. I've got this orange leotard it's short so it basically fits me exactly the same as this except it doesn't have adjustable straps which is a big l and i got this dress i'm not trying it on right now but it's cute it's giving and the best part about it is that it has pockets <laughs> like was there even a point i'm doing my makeup my eyebrows aren't even staying in place because that's how sweaty i am so i did this leotard and my little in route necklace I don't want to do these like just cherry kind of lips, so this is the closest I can get right now because I don't have the Benetint more red, so this is definitely more pink, but that's okay. But yeah, I don't know what I'm really gonna do because my skin looks great, but if I'm sweaty already and my eyebrows won't stay in place, Lord only knows. Alright, I redid my eyebrows, so there's that. Um, I'm gonna be sweaty regardless today, so that's what it is, but my leotard on, this accessory kind of makes up for the lack of earrings today i'll probably put my hair in a hair clip like always to be honest because this weather is just not not suitable for my hair to be done as always i have my little coat i'm bringing an umbrella just in case hair brush water hair clip and then my usual wallet thing and my portable charger and all that fun stuff for new york weather is straight up the most difficult thing to protect in this planet earth <laughs> And I know weather, you can't control the weather, so I'm not like upset of the weather itself. I'm just upset how, how hard it is to know what to wear and like what to do.
I also just realized that I didn't even talk about what I was doing today. My plan originally was to go to Joe and the Juice and get the Serena effing Kerrigan smoothie because she collaborated with them. I love her. Definitely go check out her stuff if you haven't already. I don't think I'll have time for that, so I'm going to go straight to Washington Square Park right now. The Meta Betty's, who I went to their Web3 event, invited me via DM to kind of like a rally slash protest that they're doing at Washington Square Park for women's rights. It's about a year since Roe versus Wade was overturned. So I wanted to go support that. And then right next to it, there's the biggest Chinese food festival. It's like happening today in Washington Square Park as well. So I'm gonna go check that out. Just got to my destination, which is near Washington Square Park. And it just started raining, of course. So I'm just kind of letting it be. Honestly, I'm not even mad. This is kind of cool. I've never been to Washington Square Park when it's rainy. I wish I honestly had my camera. I see some photographers out here. I think it's like a really cool way to capture the park. Hopefully it doesn't rain for too long. I'm kind of walking around looking for the Meta Betty's, but I highly doubt I'm going to find them. A lot of people are packing up and leaving, and they're not. it's not like an obvious thing where they are. But yeah, first time at Washington Square Park when it's downpouring. I don't think it's gonna last long, and honestly, at this point, whatever. Like, life is life. Enjoy it while you can. They have all these things in my bag, I would just be running in the rain. It's beautiful. Oh my god, I need to show you this lady that she does. I've seen her before doing performance art, but now it's in the rain. I effing love her. <laughs> like, I always hear her performing here, and said to screw it the rain is just gonna add to the effect i think i found where the chinese food festival is so everything smells so good it stopped the raining like really hard it smells just like a light drizzle like this looks so fire like i'm trying to start from the beginning so i can show you guys everything because I'm obviously by myself and gave me an extra one so I ended up asking for two chicken, two vegan, and two pork and they were out of the vegan so they ended up giving me an extra one and one of each and they were like you want two forks and I was like yeah sure I definitely don't need two forks but on the right side they gave me a to-go box so I could just take it home with me so worth it oh my god it's delicious there were several moments where I thought about inviting someone today but I wasn't really sure what exactly I was gonna do. I made like a general list. Like, even the first thing I thought I was gonna do, the Medibetti's protest, like I never found them. So I don't know if they were walking around. Like I, they said to meet so at one, obviously I get, got here late, but I kind of figured they were just gonna be around the park and I was gonna see them. So never saw them. So I was like, all right, let me get food. But if I did see them, you know, I didn't want to invite someone and be like, oh yeah, we're doing a protest today. <laughs> And Blaze thought about coming with me. But he's catching up on so much work this week. Would have been really hard. But the good thing about being alone is like you're just kind of on your own time. Like the line for this place was so long. If I was with anybody else, I would have not waited. But I was by myself, and I was like, screw it. I'm editing some videos while I'm in line. You guys are gonna see why I'm so dedicated to getting to see this exhibit. This artist is so incredible. I've been following her for a minute and the work she does, like she cuts her own wood and makes her own like structures as the canvas and then paints over them, but they're like surreal, but like cutesy is the way I would describe it. It's like Salvador Dali mixed with like really cutesy art and she's so beautiful. I don't know if she'll be there. She was there last night. I just could not get myself to do this last night and then go back home. The exhibit was super cute. I absolutely love her work and I just really hope that she makes really big in the art world, at least the fine art world. It's definitely way more difficult for women, but I'm saying it's not difficult at all for men, but it's extra difficult for women. But I truly think she deserves all the success that comes to her. I don't even know her, I just literally am so obsessed with her art and I think she's super talented, so yeah. It was worth it. It was definitely worth it. It's just me and the girl that was working there. When I got there, there was these other two men in there, 
but eventually it was just me and her so we chatted a little bit and i'm the kind of girl that like if i could i would legit just sit there and stare at the paintings forever but there's only so much you could you know do in there because you can't really walk so yeah there's actually a skate park right there things that like genuinely i would never know unless i'm walking by here but i've always liked photographing skaters the cheesecake place, the bakery, our friend told us about yesterday. I do want to go there, but it's like another 30 minute walk and I just do not have it in me. There's also other like cute places that I could go to, but it's like in the Lower East Side and now I'm like way down by like Bowery, like way, way low. So the only thing that I have is this store called Coming Soon, which is in about a 10 minute walk. So that's the most I'm doing. After I go see the store that I've wanted to go to for a while, I'm done. I'm gonna go home because I can't hang. I do kind of want to conserve my energy because I'm trying to go to the pride parade tomorrow. As of right now, I was supposed to go with my cousin and her friends, but they're kind of iffy about the rain. I'm coming regardless. You saw me today with my umbrella. I don't care. Turn up. <laughs> I don't get many weekends off. It's like I have no other choice but to enjoy it, no matter what kind of weather I Nothing sounds better to me than a nice shower and my bed again. I do think that one of these days that I'm not like really focused on looking cute, I'm gonna bring my camera. I'm gonna go to a camera store to see if I can get more film so I can do more film photography. I really miss that. Just simply going out just to shoot photos, that's it. That's like, I wanna do a day where that's all my intention. All right, final update of the night. I am about to take a serious shower because that was such a sweaty day. My strap literally, it didn't break. It just came off. I didn't even know you, that could happen with these. So just FYI, but I did get at coming soon a new oven mitt. I'm getting rid of this one. This one's like so old and like not the vibe. It's a little ungodly. Boom, boom. Look at how cute stripes, it's different colors. And it has the little clip, I might get like a little magnet, but yeah. Such a cute vibe. It's actually the brand that I want to get the towels too for the bathroom. They're kind of costly, but I think it would be worth it to bring some colorful, vibrant vibes to this very gray place. Feeling rough, my back and my legs and my knees were hurting. So I really don't think I'm doing anything to just lay in bed. Um, unfortunately, I can't hang apparently and I have a headache. So I'm just gonna pray that I wake up tomorrow, that the day's beautiful and that it's gonna be a beautiful pride parade with no issues. We'll see. <laughs> Status. In bed with a robe on, icing my knees so that I can twerk with the gays tomorrow <laughs> at Pride. <sighs> There's no other feeling like it. This is the closest I'm getting the colorful lights in here on my little sunset lamp. Hello vlog, it is Pride Day. We are going to the Pride festival oh, hello it is actually 10 40 right now the whole thing starts at 11 so i'm trying to get there like early but i don't think i'm gonna i mean i'm obviously not gonna get there by 11 but the whole thing goes on all day so i'm gonna go to where it starts kind of by madison square park i'm gonna get a smoothie the serena effing kerrigan smoothie at joe and the juice which I was not able to do yesterday. Probably just get water there because my water bottle I realized was so heavy yesterday. Like it was really hurting my shoulders. So I'm just gonna wait till I get there to just get like a little water bottle. And yeah, I have this really colorful tank on. It comes with the skirt and I was fully planning on wearing the skirt, but when I threw it on, it was just really tight. It's like almost like a maxi but like pencil skirt so when i was walking i was like this and i was like yeah there's no way so the jorts came out i got these last year i believe on princess polly they have really good shorts but i love this length so much better than like when we used to wear those like really tiny abercrombie shorts like when i was in high school that 
I'm so traumatized by those. So I have these on and then I am wearing my new uh, Reebok. All right, I'm about to risk it all. It was either these or the Adidas Low Forum and I'd rather risk these because these are going to be like, kind of like my everyday white shoes anyways, so I can always wash them. And then of course, I'm actually bringing my Nikon today. I wish I had film for my film camera. And then I have my umbrella, my wallet, sunblock, and that's basically just it today. Like I'm not I'm trying not to bring as much as I did yesterday because, all right, got this jewelry. This is from my mom. It was inherited. The, neck, the bracelet as well. I have my little teddy bear from Enroute Jewelry. This one was also inherited. I got this little teddy bear necklace in Miami. This one is the Mickey Mouse thing, but it was just gonna be too much. And then I have my little smiley face earrings. Right now it's stunning out until about like 1 or 2 p.m. and then it's supposed to rain. I got the fan blowing on me for a little bit. Yeah, I was kind of like doing like a light makeup and i was gonna mess around with like colorful eyeshadow which i haven't done in a while and the idea i had in my mind did not go as i expected so now i have kind of the splotchy green eyeshadow which is unfortunate but at the end of the day i'm gonna be wearing sunglasses over this most of the day so it won't really matter it's just really for the vlog and for pictures i will tell you one thing there's no way my hair is staying down today Whew. I was actually able to pull down on the subway for a little bit because the AC was blaring. Shit ton of people here today. On my way to get a smoothie and maybe a shot of espresso to wake me up. Alright, I have my little sandwich, my smoothie. The street to get here was closed. So yes, I had to lie to the cops basically to get to this place because I was like, I don't know what I'm going to be back from here with Joe and the gym, so I told them my sister works here. I don't have a sister. <laughs> and we're walking. Who knows where we're walking, but we're walking. It's vibrant. It's beautiful. I love it. Just got handed these little gato negro kitty ears. I put my hair up while I'm walking. It's so cute. They were doing free wine tasting for Pride. And I'm on the hunt. I'm on the lookout because there's this Barbie Pride fan that they're handing out. I don't know where they're handing them out, but I need it because I think the Barbie marketing is like iconic. I don't know why it's lopsided though. I can't figure it out. It might just be my head shape, but I think they light up. This one's like a little lopsided. <laughs> There was just way too many people. So I'll go with what Google said about where Pride Fest is. Just be there where it's like the food festival and the music and dancing. And my friend Emily's supposed to meet me there. I'm doing the trail and run for us. Find like the perfect spot for the both of us to just be able to meet up. It was such a blast. I didn't see the whole thing, but I did get to meet up with some friends that I used to work with, but they live in New York now, so they were actually going to this Queen Liberation thing, which I love, but I hadn't been to the festival yet, and I'm arriving to the festival, so I decided to stay here with my camera so I could take pictures of everything, maybe grab some food. I'm on the lookout for the Barbie fan still, so... fun yesterday i am so tired today it's gloomy out so right now i'm just walking to move my car what's new <laughs> then i'm gonna just lay in bed because normally gyms happen on monday morning but i walked a lot this weekend like i think saturday was six miles or five miles and then yesterday was six miles basically almost like 12 or 13 miles 
So I think my legs deserve a rest. Plus I also twerk with the gays and shake, you know. Okay. This airplane doesn't want me to talk. And yeah, shaking my ass with the gays is pretty exhausting. But the picnic was so much fun too. I went with my friend CK Bubbles, who I have met through the metaverse, oddly enough. I actually have met people in these virtual worlds and then met them in real life and became in real life friends with them. So invited me to the picnic with some people from the Decentraland Dow that live in Argentina, but we're visiting New York. So it was such a cool experience, like getting to speak Spanish, English with them, and just connect with new people. And I feel like I've always wanted to have like a big picnic like that. I've done it already, obviously, but like I always love having those vibes and I go to the park alone a lot and I see people with their friends. So it just made me happy to be a part of such an awesome group like that. And I definitely am looking forward to doing that more, to know more people. Tomorrow I, I'm going to meet up with an online friend, a recent online friend. I saw my post with uh, Tarmars and messaged me on Instagram. So we're going to go on a cute little coffee shop date. But as of today, I'm in recovery mode because I slept terribly last night. Seriously, guys, like it was so bad that at 4 a.m. I decided to book a rent an AC unit on their website because it was so hot and Ranger is really hot. So I'm like, if we're hot and we can sweat, imagine a dog that can't sweat and he's just panting. So yeah, it's about that time of the year where you gotta just do it. Life hack, if you're in NYC in the summer, just be half naked. <laughs> it's really the only way. And then also, if you have a car, sit in your car with air conditioning because that's what I'm doing. I didn't even think about that last night. Um, hopefully this rent an AC is legit. I have good reviews on Google, so hopefully it's not a scam. Uh, knock on wood. I hate even throwing that word out there because it's like there's so many internet freaking things that you just don't know. Because I did get like a fraud alert from my credit card, but I think it's because like they saw that I placed like an order for um, something for like a couple hundred dollars at like four o'clock in the morning. So they're probably like, what is happening? Let's pray because. I can't really live life unless I have good sleep. That's basically the point of the whole thing. And it might seem very costly now, but at the end of the day, we're saving a lot of money on rent every month by not renting somewhere else that might've had, you know, that luxury. So you get what you pay for um, in a lot of ways with these pre-war apartments. And originally the plan was to buy the unit and, um, then when I started looking into it and seeing that there's ones that you can rent, I was like, that actually makes sense because not only are you paying for the rental, you're paying for them to mount it and then to unmount it um, during the fall. And then uh, they provide the unit, the brackets, everything, they come do it for you. So you're paying basically just to have AC in the summer and then not have to worry about storing it at all the rest of the year. That's all I got going on for today. I am going to be editing photos that I took at Pride, posting them. I'm still kind of getting the hang of my Nikon. I've had it forever, but I don't practice enough. And when I first started, I would just shoot on auto. And like, I've learned how to shoot manually so many times, but because I don't practice enough, I forget when I'm in a situation where I'm at an event and I'm taking photos and I'm trying to remember settings and all that. It's not easy. One that thinks photography in general is easy, that you just click a button, you're dumb. It really takes a lot of learning and a lot of practice. It's mostly practice because you can learn what each thing means, but unless you're practicing it, and then also like there'll be parts where it was sunny, so I had the perfect lighting, and then I'm shooting other people where it's cloudy, and the lighting's way too dark, so there's gonna be a lot of pictures that are too bright, too dark, blah, 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 as I'm testing it out. But yeah, I, I realized the only way I will ever learn is just to go out and practice and make it more of a point to just have my camera out. I think just dressing in sporty gear with my camera and just having that be the focus of the day sounds like so great to me too. The perfect thing to do as like a solo artist, if you're a photographer, is to go on, on trips like that. And then also if you ever wanna do a photo walk with friends, hit them up. 
maybe they'd be down. I might start like getting more out there and like hitting people up on social media because I realize it really does go a long way. Like if you really want to try to be friends with someone, just hit them up. Um, keep posting what you're doing. Keep posting what you're creating because you're going to keep attracting the energies and the kind of people in your life that are going to serve those energies. So if you keep posting it, you're going to find your people. Your vibe attracts your tribe is what we always say. Peace out, peeps. Thank you.